All right, so you're using Unity on Windows and you just want to have a quick hacky Texas Beach fun. You do not need to buy an asset for it and you don't technically need to make a DLL. So make a new script, double click it to open up in Visual Studio. The first line you want to add is using speechlib. That lets us have a new voice and then the voice we can tell it to just say something when we press the letter S. And the flags we're going to pass are to make it async so it doesn't block the thread and purge before you speak so there's no overlapping uh, funkiness. So if we hover over speechlib, it's going to say show potential fixes and it's going to say remove them, which is not an option. What you need to do is go to project, say add reference, click the com menu, and then you can scroll down to your Microsoft speech object library. I've got three versions. I'm just going to pick the newest one, version 11. I'm going to click OK. Once I do that, everything's going to look as if problem solved. However, if I go into Unity and I make any change, it's going to regenerate the solution and I'm going to lose my changes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my project folder. There should be a folder called OBJ, debug, and now there's this new interrupt speechlib.yll. I can copy that, go back to my folder, my assets folder, paste it in here, open Unity, and now it's going to realize that there's a new DLL. So what it's going to do is it's going to load it it's going to add some auto references to it, which we should see if we highlight it when it's done. Yep. And if we go back to Visual Studio, we see everything looks peachy. And if we give it a run and we press S, you want a little pie? -y? Everything sounds exactly as jank as we wanted it to. So yeah, that's it. Hope it helped.